You've carefully crafted your flight path for your DJI Air 3, Air 3S or Mini 4 Pro in Litchi like this. But when you convert that Litchi mission and import it into the DJI Fly app as a waypoint mission, suddenly your path transforms into this. While smooth sweeping turns may be great for cinematic footage, they're problematic, for example, for photogrammetry, where you need to cover an area as accurate as possible, or you simply prefer a flight path with straight lines. So how do we get a flight path with straight lines? Sounds familiar? You're in the right place. Today's video breaks down all the steps to create a flight path with perfect straight lines. So let's jump in. So what will we learn today? First, we examine the structure of the waypoint file, specifically the KMZ format. Then, we'll download a waypoint mission from the controller, which in fact is a KMZ file. Next, we we'll modify the waylines.wpml file to adjust the flight path to follow straight lines. And finally, upload the modified version of the KMZ file back to the controller. Before diving into the actual process, let's first get a basic understanding of how DJI saves waypoint missions. The mission you create on or import into your controller is saved as a KMZ file. Unfortunately, the name of the waypoint mission on the controller does not correspond to the actual file name. In fact, the file name is something like this. But now let's connect the controller to the computer to have a closer look where you can find those KMZ files and how to handle them. Here I'm already connected to my controller. In my case I'm using the Mac and need the Android file transfer to look into the file structure of the controller. And if you scroll down, as you can see on my screen, there's a waypoint folder and with this cryptic names I talked about in the last chapter. So the only thing to figure out which file you need, which one you work on, is to look at the timestamp. So this is the timestamp from today, the last one I created today. So this is the one I'm interested in. And uh, to work on this file, I just uh, select it and copy paste it on my Mac. Now you can see I've downloaded the file, the KMZ file. And the KMZ file is basically nothing more than a zip file. So to have a look into the content of this file, only thing I have to do is rename this from KMZ to zip. Confirm it. And double click on the file. Now you see a new folder coming up here and if we click into it we see basically two important files template and waylines.wpml and the waylines file is the one we are interested in but before opening it let's have a look what we learn from the developer website from DJI how the format of this file is structured to learn more about the Waylines file format, I'm now looking at uh, developer.dji.com and there we have to navigate to the cloud development, to the cloud API, to the documentation and then the API reference and there DJI WPML and there we have the waylines. So this is a sample of how the waylines will look like. And the important part for us is at the very end, everything is described over here. And we have at the very end, a WPML use straight line. And this is one of the first important steps we have to take. This is uh, default, by default it is zero, so it is um, curved. But we don't want to have it curved, we want to have it uh, straight. And there you see an important node required if waypoint 
turn mode is set to point and stop with continuity curvature. So to find more about this parameter, I figured out only changing this one is not enough. We have to navigate to the common elements. And there, in the common elements, we search for turn mode. So we're here at this element. And we also have to change this element to get uh, straight lines. And the very important part is the first one. It is to point and stop with discontinuity curvature. This one we have to replace in our file to get straight lines. Having this knowledge, we now have a look into the file we just downloaded, how it looks like and what we have to change. Now here I already opened my waylines file the one which I extracted from the zip file. And navigating through all the tags, important part for us is first the place mark tag. Here you will see all the waypoints listed, where it is, additional information. And important part for us is the turn mode. And as you can see here, the turn mode is set by default to point and stop with continuity curvature but we have to replace it according to the documentation with uh, to point and stop with discontinuity curvature. This is the first one you have to change. And the second one, most obvious one, use straight lines. It is set to zero. We have to replace it by one. So this is what we have to do for all waypoints in this uh, file, replace it accordingly. And you can use your favorite text editor, search and replace, or you can use an Apple script. In my case, I created an Apple script to do this automatically for me. And this is how my Apple script looks like. First, I replace the ending from KMZ to zip. I will unzip the file. And first thing, the obvious one I will do is look for the use straight line tag replace it from zero to one. And then I look for to point and pass with continuity curvature. This one can occur in some cases. For example, if you save the patched version of your file. So be cautious. If you want to change something, do it before you do this changing of the text. If the controller starts and save it again, you will find this text. Therefore, I do replacement as well if this one occurs in my file. And then the one you saw before, to point and stop with continuity curvature, replace this as well with to point and stop with discontinuity curvature. At the end, I'm um, compressing it again, renaming it to the original name. So in fact, I can now change from curved lines to straight lines with one click. Now going back to the DJI developer documentation under common elements, there's another parameter you may want to change and this is heading mode. By default it is set to smooth transition, but if you want to have really straight lines and turns, you may want to set them to follow way line. How does this look like? Let's have a look at the resulting uh, flight path and videos. The first screen recording is with heading mode set to smooth transition. After passing waypoint 4, the drone already starts to yaw to align with the upcoming flight path after waypoint 5. While this might be totally fine for cinematic videos, for photogrammetry, where we need photos in a specific interval and alignment, this setting is not suitable. For photogrammetry, Heading mode set to follow wayline is the better choice. As you can see, the nose of the drone is always following the flight path towards the next waypoint. Yaw is only happening while passing a waypoint. 
Placing these settings in direct comparison reveals precisely how the heading mode influences the drone's yaw behavior. Which one is best for you? This depends on your specific use case. Do you need smooth transitions for cinematic videos? Or do you collect photos for photogrammetry? Now after changing the waylines.wpml file, compressing it again, and renaming it to KMZ, it's time to replace it on the controller. I'm again connected to my controller, in my case the RC2, going to the waypoints folder, and here I have the file I just downloaded in the beginning. So what I'm doing now, the newly created one, take this one and uh, drag and drop it in here, replace it, and that's it. Now it's time to start up the controller. Now in my controller, I'm clicking on the waypoint icon, then open the list of saved waypoint missions. And there you find the one we just uh, patched. Looking into it, it's exactly what we want to have. Straight lines the whole way from the beginning to end for all 12 waypoints. Now, if you want to exit, be careful. Don't hit save and exit. If you hit this, as mentioned before, it will make a mess out of it. Now let's do a short recap how the conversion to straight line flights works. First, you have to download the KMZ file from your controller. Unzip the KMZ file to get access to the waylines file. In the waylines file, set waypoint turn mode and straight line as described before. Optional, if you want the nose of your drone to follow exactly the waylines, you have to set the heading mode to follow wayline. When finished editing, compress the file again, rename it to KMZ and upload it to the controller. When performing photogrammetry, there are two additional initial steps you'll need to take. Starting with defining the area you want to map in drone link, then redraw the flight path in Litchi, export the Litchi mission as CSV file and convert the CSV file to a KMZ file. From there, the process is identical as described before. I hope this tutorial sheds some light on how DJI waypoint missions are defined and how to tweak them according to your needs, and especially mastering those essential straight line flights. Your thoughts and questions are always welcome in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead with more tips and tricks, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.